Welcome to Make Something with me, David Picciuto, and today I'm going to show you this new laser from MakeBlock. It does some pretty cool things. Check it. This is the laser from MakeBlock. The laser is called the Laser Box. It has a 500 by 300 millimeter working area. There's a hose that goes from here to the purifier, and then there's this big filter in there. And then this exhaust out the window. There's some really cool features about this. The first feature that I want to show you, check this out. This is pretty cool. This is some of the basswood material that make block sells. You don't have to use their materials. You can throw in anything that's safe in there, but their materials have this little code on there. So when you throw it in there, the machine knows exactly what it is and you don't have to touch any settings or anything. Check out this really cool feature. No computers whatsoever. I'm just going to draw an M right here. And I'm not going to drop it in the machine and it's going to cut it out. No computer. This is a little camera right here. All I have to do is hit this button right here. So check that out. No computers. It didn't cut exactly on the line, but pretty close. So this would be a great thing to do with kids. MakeBot focuses their energy on education. So this is great for schools or for kids who want to cut pieces out and assemble something, but that was really cool. No computers whatsoever. That was cool feature number one. Let me show you something else. This is just my sticker on a piece of paper and then some three millimeter basswood. I'm going to throw in both of these and it's going to scan that sticker and then I can engrave that on the basswood. How cool is that? This time I am using a computer and then this is the software that comes with the machine. So I close the lid and that camera sees what's in the bed there and then I can take this tool right here, the marquee tool, and I can select my logo. And then I can say, yep. And then I can move that over to the three millimeter basswood. Oh, let's go up here and say, we are using three millimeter basswood. We're using a piece that doesn't have the little, the little barcode in there so it doesn't know what's in there. But we have three millimeter basswood. I'm not going to change any of the settings. I'm just going to hit start and watch it go. Out. It's not like a 100% verbatim perfect copy of it. It's a little little soft on the edges, but I would say that's pretty good. That's acceptable, especially if you have kids or students and they're drawing something and want to transfer that drawing onto a piece of leather or wood or acrylic or whatever. Also, within the app, there are a bunch of pre-made projects ready to go. All you got to do is send them to the machine, cut it up and assemble yourself. There's even more on their website. When Dan was still out over here, he made this cool Cobra. So those two features, the scanning and cutting, probably not something I would use too much in my shop, but I know teachers, students, and kids would get some great use out of it. What I do love about their software, and the Glowforge does not have this, is you can draw right within the software. You don't need third-party software like Illustrator or Inkscape. You can do it all in here. So I'm going to draw a piece of art and cut it out on some acrylic using a, a bunch of circles, all drawn within the app that comes with the machine. So now that I have the first layer of circles drawn up within the software, I'm gonna throw a piece of acrylic in the machine. This acrylic does not come from Make Block, so this just shows that you can use any material that is safe within the machine. You can't just be willy-nilly and throw any plastic in there because some of the plastics, if they're not safe for laser cutting, will release harmful fumes. So you have to be careful and know what you're cutting.
So that is the first layer out of some orange acrylic. We'll take off this protective cover here. So now I'm gonna drop a second layer of different circles that'll lay on top or below this, whichever looks best. Off camera, I cut a white piece of acrylic for the back and a clear piece of acrylic for the front. And when you layer them up, it looks like this. And then I made a nice little frame for it. That piece of art was created directly within the app for the laser. No third party, no external software needed. So now I'm going to show you that you can use third party software if you want to. I'm going to take a photograph of this Rubik's Cube and then I'm going to draw it up in Illustrator and then I'm going to cut out all the colored pieces out of acrylic here on this machine. You might remember that I tried to do this out of stained glass and failed. So hopefully we can actually make it happen this time with a little help from technology. I have the Glowforge Pro, which costs a little bit more, but it does cut faster. Same exact materials, it just cuts faster because that's 45 watts, and then this is 40 watts. There is another laser in this category, and that is the Full Spectrum Muse. I have no experience with that laser. I've never used it, so I can't speak for it or about it. I do know that if you buy that laser, you have to buy an external fume extractor or an exhaust fan, so there's some additional cost. So comparing the laser box and the Glowforge, the Glowforge does have an exhaust system built right in the machine, so I can just take a dryer hose from the machine right into the wall with no external extractors. The laser box does come with this purifier, so you run a hose from the laser box to the purifier, and then it vents out the window. That is probably the more environmentally friendly solution since it's purifying before it goes out the window. I will say this, the Glowforge exhaust seems to be a little bit more powerful because when I see the smoke inside the machines, I can see the smoke moving faster within the Glowforge than the laser box. This leads me to believe that the lenses within the Glowforge require less cleaning and replacement although I don't know for sure. The cut quality between the two machines, exactly the same. Can't tell the difference. They both cut very well. As far as software between the two machines, the Glowforge uses a browser-based system, so you have to have an internet connection to use that. The LaserBox comes with downloadable software for both Mac and Windows. And as far as I can tell, you don't need internet access to use the LaserBox. The MakeBlock software does allow you to draw within it, so you're not required to use third-party software like Illustrator or Inkscape. The Glowforge, if you want to draw something up, you have to use third-party software. So now it's time for the tough question, which one is better and that really depends on your needs. The Glowforge Pro cuts faster, has better fume extraction and ships from the United States. The laser box can be used without a computer. It purifies the smoke and doesn't require third-party software to draw up your images. If you buy from MakeBlock directly, there could be shipping delays and tariff and taxes on import. My Glowforge Pro does have a pass-through so you can put in pieces larger than the cutting area. To be honest, I have never used that feature, but it does not require an external extractor, so it takes up less space on your desk. And to my untrained eye, the cut qualities between the two machines, exactly the same. The MakeBlock LaserBox, pretty cool machine with some neat features. I tried to be extremely honest with you. I don't do review videos very much, but it's something I wanna dive into because I know that you trust me and what I think of the machines that allow me to do what I do. So that is it, folks. We will see you soon with a brand new video. As always, be safe, have fun, stay passionate, stay healthy, and make something.